last month I was in Davos during the World Economic Forum, and I got to sit in on a private dinner about decarbonization and carbon markets. And some of the participants were heads of sustainability for some of the largest companies. And again, the topic was all carbon markets, but I was surprised because half the discussion was about carbon removal. And what I got from that dinner was the reason they were talking so much about carbon removal was because the existing carbon offset markets really collapsed last year in the wake of the Guardian article, the CEO of South Pole resigning, you know, really this, this existing market to be carbon neutral just didn't, didn't play out like it, um, it needed to. And so the reaction to that was, okay, so then we like the idea of this. We like the idea of, of credits and, and reducing emissions, but now we need something that actually works and that carbon removal was positioned as something that potentially could actually work as a high quality carbon offset. So that's an important shift in the narrative that I wanted to share. Uh, I think that, you know, as that's starting in a discussion in Davos, I think that's going to start to radiate out to boardrooms, to corporate decision making, to negotiations with startups and um, and investors. And so I wanted to wanted to share that there's this there's this pivot coming as the world's largest corporations, who are the largest buyers for the voluntary carbon market, start to really create, in a sense, V2 of carbon markets that has a much stronger component of carbon removal credits at the core of it as, as high quality uh, products. And so I think in the next six months for startups, you can assume if you're talking to a Fortune 2000 company, definitely Fortune 500 company with the net zero goal, you can assume there is a, a pivot going on within that, with that, within that organization around bringing in more carbon removal. It's either happening or it's going to be happening soon. And so your job is to navigate to that and figure out how you can help be part of that, be part of that solution and to, and to find a customer that way. Uh, if you're at a large company with a net zero goal, again, assume this conversation is going on and that you, with your carbon removal expertise, could have something to contribute to that conversation. Um, or if that conversation is just beginning, that you can help that pivot to happen. Um, if you're an investor, it's a great time over the next six months to invest in carbon removal. You can get out, you can talk to some of these corporates, see what kind of changes are happening, and then invest in the startup companies that you see that are that are that are going to be part of this this wave of of shifting into this kind of V2 carbon market where carbon removal is a big part of it. Um, so I wanted to share that with with you and uh, make sure that was on your radar about what I got from Davos and the the, the conversation that I see shifting over the next six months.